Hi everybody, this is Chef Mike. Today we're going to make caramel popcorn. Here's the recipe. So first thing we start with is we're going to start with our popcorn. So you need four quarts, basically two packages of microwave popcorn. We're going to take that, put it in the preheated oven, 250 degrees. And from there we're going to start with the, making the caramel. Half a cup of butter, one stick, one cup of brown sugar, teaspoon of salt, and one cup of, of corn syrup. You can use light or dark, just different color popcorn. I use the light. We're going to put it all in the pot and we're going to bring it to a boil. You want to stir it at this point and keep stirring it until it comes to the boil. Take a couple minutes doing this. Probably about five minutes before it'll bring to a boil, so. Okay, so it just came to a boil. We're gonna let it get to a rolling boil, and then we're gonna leave it for another five minutes without stirring it. Like that. So, here we are, we're coming up on our five minutes with the syrup boiling. We haven't stirred it. So you take it off the heat. We're gonna add our vanilla and our baking soda. Stir it in. Is it really good? Then we're going to grab our popcorn out of the oven. We're going to add peanut stars. We like honey roasted peanuts in our popcorn. Make sure to get this nice and stirred in. It's the time to add your peanuts if you're going to add them. Otherwise you just end up with peanuts on the bottom. And then we're just going to Add this in. Toss around a little bit. And then we're actually going to throw this back in the oven for 45 minutes. You're going to want to stir it about every 15 minutes. It'll help Coat the rest of the popcorn. It'll dry it out and set the candy. So, see you in a little bit. Timer. Right. So now this is out of the oven. It's been in there for 45 minutes. Mix it up a couple times. I'm just going to dump it out on the wax paper. And we're going to want to let it cool. Warning, one of the smaller pieces, now is the time to break it up. Because once it cools down, it's going to be hard. So, make sure when it's completely cooled, you want to store it in an airtight bag. So it'll keep longer. That's it. Enjoy.